The DJI Osmo Action 4 is finally here and there are six things that you should know about this brand new action camera which I'll talk about in this video. Now this video is sponsored by DJI but I am filming the entire video with the Osmo Action 4 so you can see exactly what that footage looks like straight out of camera unedited. I've also had this camera for about a month now and I've been using it to film my family weekend trips as well as a big family vacation and I've been really impressed by what I've seen so far. Now before I talk about what's new on the Osmo Action 4, let's talk about what isn't so new. And the first thing is that it looks pretty much identical to the Osmo Action 3. It even weighs the same, 145 grams, has the same 155 degree FOV and f2.8 aperture, and it has a lot of the same great usability features as the Osmo Action 3, including a back and front facing LCD, both of which are touchscreens, the ability to connect a USB-C microphone without having to buy an adapter, a magnetic it quick release which is incredibly strong and if you use it in combination with the included case you can go from horizontal to vertical video shooting in a matter of seconds. So that's what hasn't changed but now let's talk about what has changed. The first thing that's new in the Osmo Action 4 is a brand new bigger sensor. So it now has a 1 over 1.3 inch sensor compared to the Osmo Action 3's 1 over 1.7 inch sensor and that's even better than the GoPro Hero 11 Black's 1 over 1.9 inch sensor. I'm working on the comparison video it'll be out tomorrow but a little spoiler alert now the maximum resolution for the Osmo Action 4 is still capped at 4K 60 for regular video or 4K 120 frames per second slow-mo video and 12 megapixel photos. So that part hasn't really changed. However, what has changed is the dynamic range. And in super high contrast scenarios, I see a really big difference compared to the Osmo Action 3. In particular, if you look at the shadows here, you can see so much more detail compared to on the Osmo Action 3. Now part of the reason why the image quality is better is because Osmo Action 3 had a couple of features that were optional that are now baked into the Osmo Action 4. That is HDR video and also enhanced image quality. Both of those now automatically come with your Osmo Action 4 footage. Now at this point, I think you can hear that the built-in microphones on the Osmo Action 4 sound pretty good, but the wind does kind of interfere with the sound quality. So for that reason, I'm going to switch over to the DJI microphone, which I can easily plug in without having an adapter. But to me, the biggest advantage to having that new image sensor is in the low light performance. I would honestly say that the Osmo Action 4 is giving me the best low light performance that I've ever seen on an action camera because action cameras are notoriously not good for shooting in low light. Now it's not perfect in low light, but if you compare it to the previous Osmo Action 3 and I'll give you a little spoiler, also the GoPro, the Osmo Action 4 blows both of them out of the water. Not only is the low light footage on the Osmo Action 4 brighter, but it also is way less grainy. It also now has low light image enhancement, which you can toggle on and off, but it is only available in certain image resolutions and frame rates. The second big change to the Osmo Action 4 is the addition of a brand new image adjustment setting. There are some presets, you can have it on default or also portrait. And if you select custom, you can now choose between three different sharpness settings, as well as three different noise reduction settings. I think this is a pretty big step for DJI because GoPro has always had a sharpness adjustment setting and it is kind of nice because sometimes you don't always want the highest. Actually, you never want highest sharpness in my opinion. It's too much. If you're gonna add sharpness, you generally wanna do that in post-production. I personally like to leave my sharpness levels on low or medium. So the ability to now choose your sharpness level in conjunction with the brand new sensor, which gives you better dynamic range and low light performance, has really improved the image quality on the Osmo Action 4 compared to the Osmo Action 3. You know, the Osmo Action 3, there were some units out there there, one of mine included, that definitely had focus issues. Now I can't speak for all of the Osmo Action 4 units, but I will say that my unit has been extremely sharp throughout the entire month that I've been using it. And I do think that because of the issues with the Osmo Action 3's focus, that DJI is paying more attention to focus for the Osmo Action 4, so I'll be pretty surprised if any of you guys do have focus issues on your units. 
The third thing that's new is the addition of 10-bit color to the Osmo Action 4. It was available on the Osmo Action 3 via a firmware update, as well as D-Log M, a new color profile as opposed to D-Cine-like, which is available on the Osmo Action 3. Now, if you're unfamiliar with both, D-Cine-like and D-Log M are flat color profiles that allow you to do more post-production. So they give you greater control over your dynamic range as well as your colors. And compared to D-Cine-like, D-Log M is even flatter, so it gives you even more control than D-Cine-like did if you like to post-process or color grade your shots. The fourth thing that's new about the Osmo Action 4 is related to its waterproofing. So it's able to now go 18 meters underwater without an additional housing compared to 16 meters for the Osmo Action 3. So if you're not familiar, both of these cameras are already waterproof without needing to put it in a diving cage of any kind. But if you do put it in a diving cage, which is sold separately, you can now go 60 meters underwater. That's actually not changed, but just something nice if you like to dive with these cameras. The Action 4 also has a brand new vivid underwater profile, which is pretty nice for making your colors pop without being too much. It's still very natural looking. The fifth thing to know about the Action 4 is that it now includes gyro data, which is really great if you like to add post stabilization to your footage using programs such as GyroFlow. Now gyro data is not available in all shooting modes. It is a little bit restricted at the moment, but that is something that I'm sure that DJI is working to include for all the footage. So stay tuned for firmware updates. And the last thing to know about the Action 4 is that it's more expensive compared to the Action 3. So the Action 3 was $329 at launch. The Action 4 is now $400 or $399, but it is a little bit cheaper than the Insta360 X3, which I believe is $450, and still cheaper than the GoPro is when it first launches. It's around $500. So it is more expensive, but compared to the other action cameras on the market, it's actually more comparable now in price. So that's all I have to tell you about the Osmo Action 4 for now. Those are six new features or things to know about this camera. I am most impressed by that image sensor. Like that dynamic range, especially the low light shooting is so good on this camera. I really do think it's the very best out of any action camera in terms of low light shooting. And so I think that, you know, the new improved image quality on the Action 4 combined with its usability, like the fact that I can add my external microphone without having to buy an adapter, the magnetic quick release, the dual facing touch screens. Like this is really elevating DJI in the action camera market. And you know, we have the GoPro Hero 12 coming out in probably about a month's time. So we'll have to see how it compares to that. You guys know that I'll be doing full reviews and comparisons. So stay tuned. Speaking of, the Hero 11 Black comparison to the Osmo Action 4 is dropping tomorrow. So you'll want to stay tuned for that because it's pretty interesting. But I'd love to hear what you guys think about this new Action 4. If you want to buy it or if you're holding out for another type of camera, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you're ever in doubt, just shoot it. <laughs> wow. <laughs>